Watch his arm. Well, Grandmaster Gonzalez shows us right here. These muscles over here, your mobile water three, we're looking at all the muscles that control the ability to extend the wrist. If he has a weapon, what happens? We can take it out right. Hold your hand here, because I don't, well, just go ahead and throw. See? <coughs> see it? See, this is it. This is outside number one. Right away. Now, you see where my hand is? I'm going to crack him on stomach number five right here, right? I'm going to start to take this guy out. Let's come back around this. I want to catch this jaw and also rupture his eardrum. This is going to affect his balance. Now watch what happens. See where I'm at here? Watch this hand. See this right here? See this right here? Double eye shot. Back to this. Back here. Once we want to complete him, right? See? See it right here? Where did I go? Directly up in the chest, try to hit lung one number two. Maybe I'm going to break his clavicle. Now watch this. I can start here. Start with the left hand. Now what happens if I want to get nasty? Look. See? I'm going to break him all the way down. It depends on whatever you want to do. Watch this. Throw. Automatically. He's done. Start with the eyes. So what I wanted to show you guys is, is this. Go back and hit these. Here he comes. He's going to come in. He's going to stick you with the number five. This is the beautiful move right here. It's direct. We're going to go back to the outside number one. The guy comes in. <clears throat> see it? Where am I? I'm really on the outside. You see this? I'm going to hit him here. Right? Now watch. From here, I can go inside or outside. <clears throat> see it? Where am I going to go? Stomach number 12 or behind the neck. I'm going to go close. Well, Grandmaster Gonzalez was trying to show you guys, I do not want to be out there anymore. I'm going to get my body up close, control this arm. So all I want you guys to do at first is when he sticks, see it? That's it. Feel that. Look at my body. Get him in. Now watch. Knife. Come in and stick. See it? Right here. He learned, learn how to avoid this hit. See what happened there? Because my, my stomach is back, I have some ability to protect myself. This is, for Serrata Screama, this. You learn that automatic. Get that belly back. So all I want you guys to do is you can do it with a doodle doodle or just your hands here. Look at me. I'm a chicken. See what happens here? Sun Jiao. Right here. See it? Break in here. Come up, come around, you always move, but once I break him, who cares? Right away. Break him here, break him here, break him here. So all I want you guys to do is just learn how to do the step out, get that right there. That's large intestine. He throws. <laughs> See it? See where I'm at? Now, watch. You guys watching? See what I did? That allows me to get my knife out. The problem with Filipino martial arts right now, a lot of times, is, is that pull the knife, pull the knife, let's go. It not work that way. 70% of males in California carry a pocket knife. That means that windy guy that you guys make fun of, he's lethal now. Because you piss him off, he may kill you. You gotta be able to find out moves here, see it? That allow you to jerk. Don't presume you're gonna walk in like this. So you've got to start practicing moves and allow you to control your opponent enough to get your thingy on and get this. All bets are off, ladies and gentlemen, when they try to kill you. So what I want you guys to do is, here, this is the one. Right there. That's the one. Outside number one, Serrata, is this. This is the one. You've got to avoid that hit. Now, see, it doesn't matter if he has a knife on a poke, does it? Here. So what I did was now, now we're going to get nasty. You guys see what I'm going to do here? Watch. Boom! I'm going to hit him right here. I'm going to break all those ribs. Now what happens is, if you got the built thing, the Grandmaster Master Archives always showed you, you want to grab. See this right here? What am I doing? As I drag it down, I pull my knife and he's in. So what you guys want to do is let him throw the punch. Just do that right now. After that, you feel comfortable, step. 
I'll get this straight. Right to right. Try it out. His legs get weak. I can also hit him right here. Near liver 11 with a dula dula stick. Watch what happens. If you want to be quick in and out, those are the kind of things you do. If I really want to hurt him, I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to drag my weight down. See it? I just barely pushed this. He goes down. So what happens is when you step into the left, see? See it? Oh, thank you. Right here? Well, Carlito, right here. Not here but yeah. Was once an you guys really big? So what we're going to hit, guys? He's Filipino. I gave him right here in the hip joint. Stand strong. He's a strong young guy. Guys, see it? See it? That's what we want. Or we want to hit him directly below the belly button. See it? Yeah. There you go. Does that work? Hell yeah, it works. I'm barely pushing. <clears throat> Try that out, guys. Make sure you got the parry. Here. See it? Drop. Now what happens, guys, is sometimes you get a guy that's like big and strong. I want you guys to come here. This right here is spleen number 10. We can press that and we're cut, so those are bleeding now. I can hit here, or I can hit up here. So what I'm trying to show you guys is I can go here. See it? Or I can hit him here with a common peroneal nerve cuffs, which is right there, below the knee. Believe it or not, I can go here. See it? <coughs> See? See he's tied up. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a limb destruction by fattening the nerves. So the knee, what happens?